what's going on guys welcome to another video this is pretty much a follow-up on my last video where i farmed 10 fall temple mods and made 75 divine profit so make sure to check out that video first today i will be showing you how to craft those maps and get high pack size but now you're wondering those maps are corrupted how will you be able to modify them well i found a way but i'm not sure if this was intended by ggg and i'm not just showing you how to make them we will also be crafting 300 of the maps just to sell for big profit margin. We are starting with 500 corrupted fall tempo maps. I bought all of those for 15 kills each, so a total of 7500 kills invested in just those maps. We also bought 100 black morgans and 100 venomal beasts for a total price cost of 1700 kills. Another thing that we are going to need a lot from is exalted orbs. I currently have 500 in my stash, but I'm pretty sure that I will have to buy more to craft all the maps. We will calculate this in the end. The first step we are doing is vendoring the maps. You will get one uncorrupted map back for every 5 maps you sell to the vendor. So after vendoring all of them, we got 100 maps back, uncorrupted. The next step we want to do now is craft all the maps to 6 mods. You can either choose to pick the fast way and just exalt slamming all of them, or you can do a slightly cheaper option and kill spam the maps to 5 mods and then exalt slam the last mod on there. I prefer the fast way, so I'm just gonna exalt slam all the maps to 6 mods. So, let's keep track of the exalted orbs. So far, we have used 104. Now that every map is 6 modded, it's time for the next step. We are going to need 1 Fenimal and 1 Black Morgan Beast, together with 2 Yellow Beasts. Three links will be in the video description below. We will be splitting the maps into three with the new beast recipe they have added this leak. So we get three uncorrupted split maps back for every map we use. This is also the reason they have to be six modded. Now we split all the maps and got a total of 300. All you wanna do now is cover up all the maps and quality them up. Then make them rare with an orb of alchemy. For the second last step, we are going to kill spam every map for 28% pack size combined with 5 mods. Then you want to exalt slam the last mod so you end up with 30% pack size. It's also possible to scale spam the 30% pack size so don't leak too fast. And for the last step, you want to corrupt the maps with fall orbs. This is slightly a gamble since you can also break it. But if you hit the 8 mods, this map can go upwards of 45% pack size. These high road maps will give you loads of chaos drops with the farming strategy of my last video. Link will be in the description. But this time, I was not rolling them to run the wealthy all flame strategy. I will be trying to sell all of them for a big profit. If sold, 45% pack size maps for 4 divines each before. It's time to fast forward 2 days and I must say, every single 30% pack size map we crafted has sold for 1 divine each. We also sold a bunch of 35% pack size maps for 2 divines. And we sold a few with 40% pack size for 4 divines. We even had a guy buying 47 maps at once, so the biggest question here is, was it worth it? Well, let's find out with some calculations. We spent 57 divines on maps, 13 divines on beasts, 8 divines on exalts, and 16 divines on chaos orbs for rolling everything. This is a total of 94 divines invested to roll all the maps. In return, for selling everything over the time span of 2 days, we have made 263 divines and 1080 chaos orbs. So the total profit we made on everything is 177 divines. The time it took me to roll everything was around 3 hours of work. The map selling by itself was pretty easy while I was mapping and watching some Netflix shows on the site. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you need a farming strategy to use these maps on, then make sure to check out my Wealthy Outflame video, where you can get upwards of 1000 kills orbs per map. Link will be in the video description. Bye!